Nah. Nah. Nah, bro. They, they, they just dropped the banger. My Twitter is going crazy. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. If you want more updates on Sparking Zero, please, please support me. I will be doing a giveaway for this game twice and all that good stuff. I'm really going hype for Sparking Zero. I already got my two copies, the Deluxe and the Standard. I'll be getting the Theta Access. I, I, I can't. I can't contain myself. Let's go. Let's watch all the content creators and all the people that have played the demo. Please, again, support them. I will be showing you guys their pages and everything and linking them in the description below. Support these content creators. They are really working hard to give us information on Sparking Zero. And once they get, once they, once they get the okay, they be, they fire that. They fire that, bro. They make sure they do it. First up, we have Glopku who has some information for us on Sparking Zero. And man, let's just get into it. I was looking forward to the most was definitely Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And today, I get to tell you all about it. I got a 30-minute presentation. Yo, look at that this. Story Whoa, look at this. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Guys, first of all, we got to look at the first right. few, like, seconds and all that good stuff. We got to, like, break down the video Dragon on their footage. Zero. And today, I get to tell you all about it. Look at this. Look at this right here, bro. Look at this. So, it looks like this is custom battle. All right? And I read this on Twitter, right? So, custom battles, bonus battles, custom battles, all the good stuff. I guess they have a set uh, set theme for certain battles. And what you do is you can go based on that theme and go based on... So, like, right here, it's Legendary Super Saiyan. Uh, a battle of speed and, and defeat Beerus. So, I think what you can do is you can change up these characters in a way to tailor it to your own, like, custom battle. Because as we've seen from the showcase that I, was break, that I broke down in the last video, you guys can go check that out as well. All right, so as we get in here, and then I the transition where I could play into, the game. Look at this, bro. The transitions into this and, and is crazy. It for myself. And then I got COVID, which is why my voice sounds like this. Oh, no. But that's not going to stop me Sorry from about that. I'm so sorry you got that. <laughs> uh, well, it turns out that's controlled by the player. Every time you have a cutscene like this, you can pretty much just toggle at will between the director's camera or the first person view. Are you sure this What? Main you can toggle between first person view and directors. Oh Disney my wants. god. So that was already impressive, but what came afterwards actually blew my mind. Let's talk about custom battles. So here you can set up a battle with custom rules. You can give each team certain handicaps and whatnot, but it goes so far beyond what we're used Look to. Look at this, man. You can man. set up dialogue events. For instance, the example they showed, we had Vegeta asking Beerus to train him so he could surpass Goku. If you just swap Vegeta out for Mr. Satan, you can have the exact same scene play out and just have Beerus telling Mr. Satan, okay, let's do it. You can also set up events that wow. happen mid-fight. So like I said, you could like so you could basically could change the character here, you and can switch them up, up. If you just swap and like creature, look, look you, you can look and you, you can even change things like he didn't even mention this right here. Dude, camera you can options. Set up I events. seen that. Hold on. For instance, the example they showed, we had Vegeta asking Beerus to train him so he could surpass Goku. If you just swap, look at this camera options. Circle around twenty six large. Like you could create like as a cinematographer, you could create your own cinema. Bro, this is gonna this is gonna bang. This is gonna be crazy, bro. Man, I bro, I bro. This Vegeta is gonna be crazy. Mr. Satan, you create your own captions. You could, again, the speaker can be Beerus or somebody else. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and just have Beerus telling Mr. Satan, okay, let's do it. You can also set up events that happen mid-fight. They happen whenever your character or your opponent meet a certain condition. For example, let's say one of you reaches 30% health, it triggers an event. What's that event? You can choose what it is. And the amount of options that were on screen were honestly too much for me to keep track of. It really wow. felt like I was watching a build-your-own-story type game. Literally, that's what it is. They're literally having a... They're, look, modders, it's, it's, the thing is, I said this on Twitter, I was like, we're not going to need modders, but scratch that. The modding community is actually going to go crazy with this. Like, this is going to go insane. Like, y'all don't understand the love and passion they're putting into this. This is so intricate and detailed when it comes to creation. We all go, oh, creation of Cax. Okay, cool. Creation of Cax, that's actually really great. That was great for the Dragon Ball franchise, and I love the universe. But this right here, this this right here, this right here, bro, Um. Bro, come on. This is that fight, bro. Game mode. Okay. Or utilizing those tools, it's only you could two minutes just in. make your own raid boss type challenge. The amount of tools that this has seems insane. And then you could create these and share them with other players. So thanks to this mode, you kind of have unlimited single player content as long as the community keeps... Literally. They are... You don't really need online to play this type of stuff. Like, this, this is going to be a game for everyone to literally enjoy. Like... Even a single player can enjoy and this. That is actually Look at this. Look at the camera angles you can choose. I can't wait 
to spend three or more hours messing with all these menus only to give up and play the most popular levels that someone else built. And one final quick note before we jump into my gameplay. The game has finally confirmed split screen offline multiplayer yeah, we've seen via that. the hyperbolic that. time chamber. We have seen and that. Again, you can go check out the gameplay showcase. The I reposted split it. Screen game mode. Split screen is there. Here's what we want to say. Finish sign, wild sense, black power ball, black bind. Uh, there was another screenshot I saw on Twitter. It said something like God bind or uh, God something like that. All right, so I didn't want to like break down his entire video. So I wanted to get back into the actual game mode showcase and give my actual reaction since I wasn't really qu able to quite see it where I was at and actually give my thoughts on it. Gameplay showcase, baby. Yeah, I was only able to see clips. Yeah, I was only able to see clips. Yeah, I was only in a single play mode, you can take eight different characters, and we already do this. Look at this. Okay. Oh, this is what is this? Oh, okay, here we go. Let's get it. For each stage, you will be playing through an introduction before heading. Yo, this is like, bro, oh my god, my, my inner child is jumping right now. This is literally like how I remember how, uh, Budokai, literally like Budokai Tekaichi. I don't know what other game. This is literally Budokai Tekaichi, bro. What I do hope for is that there's still is gonna be like a like a Kakarot type thing where we get to actually open free world through it. But like this, look the stages that you can go through. Look at like the next stage and everything. It's like different worlds we can go yeah, into. It's so, bro, this is so, bro, look at this. You can fly into it. Some of those are kind of Dragon Ball Super. Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super. So yeah, they're not guys. I'm sorry, they're not emphasizing GT by the way. I, Someone emphasize that. So, go, so the number of battles vary between different characters. That means Goku has, like, obviously he's the biggest, so he's going to have a lot of more story. I remember in Budokai, in Budokai 3, that's how it was too. Like, Goku had, like, the most missions, sort of Vegeta, but everybody else kind of had, like, a few missions. So they're really sticking to the name of the series. Man, oh, so beginning from the one that fights right up, right when he fights Raditz up to the including tournament. So, literally, they're covering the entirety of Dragon Ball up until now. Literally, so they have room to like go branch off into other things. Our goal for this mode was was a mode is to our goal for this was a mode. Our goal for this was a mode is to allow players the satisfying challenge faced by characters and their friends. Okay. And this it says footage shown is still under development, guys. They're, they're like still working on the game. So with this one, I, I like we said with Lapku, you can get different perspectives, uh, whether it's director's cut or point of view. Wow, that's crazy. So we already know this the what if stories. Players will be able to uh, change their outcome of the story. Yep. Differ from the anime series and all that good stuff. That's, that's again, what if stories is crazy. That's the episode showcase. Now here's the nitty gritty. Here's the nitty gritty. Here's the nitty gritty. Look at this right here, man. Look at this right here. Bonus battles, custom battles mode. So we get actual bonus battles. But I guess it's like where you can fight, like, like I guess with like the cheap characters. I don't know. Like the, the characters are not that strong. That is crazy. Like all oh, this is just fun. Like all of like, I don't know what else to say other than all of it is just good for Dragon Ball. Like. Yeah, we already saw this one again with different cutscenes and stuff. You can change the health, you can change the key laws, how much how many enemies, how many opponents. Like this is insane. You can we're literally creating our own Dragon Ball game within a game. They really thought of like casual players too with this. I really I'm honestly I'm I keep saying positive, but I'm honestly 
keep thinking that they keep making this for more competitive, but man, they put so much love into this. So, stay to the one who uploaded the state, the Kaiju no player, and everybody can play them. This is gonna be sick to play with it, bro. I can't wait to see everyone's man. It's gonna be sick. I'm gonna see the other side of the other side of the other side. 既存のバトルをカスタマイズして新たなバトルを作ることもできますのでぜひいろいろなバトルを作って遊んでみてください以上エピソードバトルカスタムバトル2つのメインモードのご紹介でしたまたゲームモードに加え皆様から多くの声を頂戴しているそうですねこのようにお話ししていることを進めてまいりました Look at the wind and blasting. Look at this. Now, the environmental changes and effects. This is where I wanted to get into. Look at like, the destruction, how he changes, and how the sky like, changes into dark. Boom. Just like, the, just like the anime. The destruction. Look at this. Look at this. This is going to be insane, man. The box is so. かつてのような画面分割でのローカル対戦と両立させるのは困難で、本作ならではの形を模索し、so they developed the game on online multiplayer and offline player mode and so so they did develop the game so we kind of thought it was gonna be automatic but they actually weren't planning on putting it in I guess because of the environmental effects and how that would translate の方、多くのシチュエーションで遊んでいただきたいと思い。So they just kept it in um, hyperlight time chamber. You can actually see some, there's some errors in there too. So they kind of got had to fix that. I, I understand that. Again, it still says it's under development. Man, that was man, that was the game play showcase for. I again, I reacted to Globku's uh, gameplay. I didn't want to go too far deep into it. There's definitely some videos on Twitter. I'm gonna be reposting. A lot of clips just on YouTube, just just sporadically, just just so we can get some clips out there for you guys, just so you guys could see um, some of the uh, gameplay and everything that's being put out there. But man, this is going to be an amazing game. Let me know what you guys think of the gameplay showcase. Let me go know what you guys think of my reaction. I will be doing giveaways for this game, so again, support this video, support all my future videos because it's gonna get on and pop in. I have my two copies. Let me know what copies you guys got. I got the deluxe and standard edition. Gonna be aiming to get the ultimate uh, physical copy edition for PS5. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and you get on some more Dragon Ball Spark and Zebra content. Peace.